kwanza naomba nimshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu nimemaliza mbio vizuri changamoto tuseme hali ya hewa ilikuwa ni nzito alafu na mojawapo tuseme kwa jumla njia ngumu sana tuseme ukiwa mpambanaji wewe ukaogopa chochote unachokizania mbele yako unatakiwa kufanikishe kwanza na kwanza ni washukuru wazani waliofanya mbio hii naomba na wengine kama waliona hii na wengine waendelee kufanya mbio waweze kuwezesha na wengine chimbuko la riaza ili endelee kukua Tanzania niseme hapo niseme ni shukuru asante sana nashukuru pamoja na nyinyi ndugu zangu mimi siwajui hii jina langu naitwa Peter Skabel eh yeah. ni mara yako ya kwanza kushiriki hizi mbio hizi mbio ni mara mara nyingi tu si mara ya kwanza eh yeah. Ah, nimekimbia nini nimekimbia uwango uwango na kuna mbio fulani huku siji simu naweza kukimbia nikashika nafasi ya kwanza au nimeshika nafasi ya pili na leo hapa niko Mwanza naomba nashukuru sana nilikuwa shina moja zote eh huyu ndio mshindi wa pili anaitwa Nicodemus Joseph ambaye ana changamoto ya kutokusikia na kuongea kwa maana dudu ameshika nafasi ya pili Nicodemus Joseph umemaliza umemaliza kilomita moja nafasi ya tatu tuanze na majina yako na tujue ndio zilikuwa na ukubwa kiasi gani eh kwa majina yetu alobatini mayingo natokea jasim hapa hapo mwanza nimeshiriki ndio ya kilomita moja nifanikiwa kwa mshindi wa tatu na mshukuru Mungu ndio ilikuwa ngumu eh ndio ilikuwa na changamoto hasa milima kwa sababu milima ni kali sana sana eh bali ndio hivyo niweza kupambana ni fight nikaweza kumaintain nikamaliza nikiwa mshindi wa tatu maana mshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu maandalizi ya mbio hizi kwako binafsi ilikuwaaje eh maandalizi ilikuwa sio mazuri kivile kwa sababu nilikuwa na nilipata changamoto ilitokea ndio pakati ya ghafla ambayo nikashiriki kilomita 10. Eh nikashiriki kilomita 10 nikaweza kufanikiwa kwa kwanza. Sasa leo ni wiki moja tu na moja ni kisi ya kati hapa. Eh nimeweza kupambana nimeona tu nikimbia shule moja kwa sababu nilipoanzisha mimi niweza kushiriki vile vizuri. Hii naweza kwa kuwashukuru wandaji wa mbizi. Za Buganda Health Mass wamejiandaa vizuri. Ndio wako vizuri lakini nilikuwa naomba waweze kushika mkono waweze kuinuiwa waweze kukuza hiyo ndio kubwa zaidi eh asante kama kuwepo kwa mashindano haya sasa nini kama vijana kuna wapenzi cha chuki gani latoza kimaisha eh kwa sisi kama vijana wengine wetu tumeweka tumeweka kama kazi sasa tukao tuna hii ilikuwa ni kazi maana mimi nimetoka nyumbani nimeweza kuja kufanya kama kazi kama kazi zingine eh kwa sababu naomba tu azidi kuongeza mashindano mengi Tuweze kupata ajira na mna hii. E, asani. Kwa majina naitu Amida na Soro Musa. Ni mshindu wa kilomita ishina moja kwa wanawake. Kwa kweli mbio ilikuwa na changamoto sana 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 sana. Milima ni mingi ya kutosha. Mila ni metumia tu zoefu na kutraini semu za milima. Alafu pia barabayani kulikuwa na changamoto ya maji. Yaani kwa kilomita shina moja ya jinsi ambavyo tumezoea maji unakuta kila baada ya kilomita tano unakuta sehemu ya maji. Lakini leo tumepata shida unakuta unakimbia mpaka ndani ya kilomita kumi umepata maji mara moja. Yaani ka almost kilomita shina moja tumepata maji mara mbili. Mara mbili mara tatu. Hiyo imetupa changamoto sana. Kwa hiyo nilikuwa naomba au na napendekeza mwakani kama itakuwepo hii mbio maji maji ya wako barabarani ya kutosha alafu pia wale wa kuelekeza njia unakuta mtu yuko bize na simu ama yuko bize kabisa ameshapotea juu nini anafanya mpaka unapita unafika tena unaanza kumuuliza njia inaelekea wapi tunakuwa yani tunapata changamoto sana kwa hiyo nilikuwa napendekeza hicho kitu bila hizo changamoto kufikiri unaweza ukawata wa kwanza ndio zote pamoja na kwa wa kwanza kwa yani kwa ujumla kwa wanaume ni ngumu kwa sababu mtoto wa kike ni wa kike tu. Yaani hata tuliumbwa tofauti hiyo ni ngumu. Yaani sema tu uwezo tunatofautiana lakini 
kuwa kwa mfano angelekeza vizuri kwa sababu ukifika pale unakuwa unapoteza ile concentration na sika unaweza kumuliza mtu ambaye ulitakiwa yeye akuone kwa ukiwa mbali kidogo ukifika kuelekeza kwenda elekea hivi sasa mpaka unafika pale wewe ndio unaanza kuuliza sengine unafika umeangalia huko unaanza kuuliza na elekea wapi hiyo ni changamoto ambayo ina yani imetupa shida kidogo unachana na hayo changamoto chache hmm. mazuri ni yetu umeona kwa mazuri yapo sio mbaya ndio mzuri amejiandaa vizuri zawadi pia jinsi walivyopanga kutoa ni vizuri pia unawaambia nini sasa washiriki wenzako ambao hizi pamoja na waandaaji kama kama hilo kwanza usisema kwa tufanye mazoezi michezo ni ajira unaweza kalala maskini ukaamka tajiri unaweza uka kama sisi tumetoka mbali huko Arusha tumekuja ukipata hiyo pesa kidogo inakusaidia kwa ujumla ndio haina ubasa na changamoto ni kidogo ni maboresho tu kawaida kwa majina naitwa Sara Iti nimetokea Arusha na ni mshindi wa kwanza kwa kumi kiujumla ndio ilikuwa nzuri taratibu barabarani pia ilikuwa nzuri kwa hiyo tunashukuru kwa maandalizi yao mimi kiujumla kwa kweli naongeza wako vizuri hali ya hewa ni bora hali ya sio mbaya ni kawaida tu shindi una kama matumaini yetu katika vizuri za safari ndio shindi una nipa matumaini ya kwamba ni hata nikienda kufanya mazoezi na kuwa na ujasiri na kwa na nguvu ya kupambana kwa sababu kuna chochote kitu kipo ambacho kutoka zoezi unaweza kununua matunda ukala nguvu zikarejea najua sio ndio zako za kwanza umeshashiriki naambia ni kama ajira kwa nini kina kusukuma sana kwa kike kuwekeza nguvu kwenye mbio hizo ndefu hasa kilele cha 10 na 20 kwa kweli mimi kinacho ni sukuma cha zaidi kwanza wanawake tunajiamini cha kwanza cha pili tunaweza hata na wenzangu naambia sikate tamaa kila kitu ni hatua. Hata mtoto anaanza chini kutambaa ndipo atembee. Kwa hata sisi tusikate tamaa. Tutafika mbele zaidi hapa. Ukipata zawadi ambayo utakayopata hapa, umeplan kufanya nini? Kupitia zawadi hapa. Ndio mimi nafikiria. Tajipongeza. Endelea na mazoezi. Sawa. Hivi tutamani kufahamu kwa siku uko unafanya mazoezi kwa tabia ya kukimbia kilometa gani? Kwa siku kwa siku naweza nikaenda kilomita 15 hadi 20 Okay so I'm I'm working uh, very close to Sangarama uh, with a uh, Perseus Mining Company in uh, Manzanga and so my training has just been on site running around the fence uh, for weeks and weeks and then when we come to have a look at the hospital uh, I met the director and the director invited us to put a team together Here's my team here. Well, can you come in, mate? Yes, please. So here's, here's our team. And uh, we put a, a five-man team together. There's still two more people to go. And uh, we've just accomplished 10 kilometers. So great race, really well organized, fantastic atmosphere, and a real pleasure to be here and raising some money for a very worthwhile fund as well for the children of Uganda Health Hospital. How was it? Is? Really good. Great atmosphere. Lots of people cheering on the Muzungu. <laughs> So now it was really good, really good, I enjoyed it. How do you see this uh, Where do you see it after two, three years? Well, I think it should be every year, every single year, because the money they're raising is going to a great cause. Uh, and it's fantastic that the, the director was telling me there's more and more people than there was last year. So let's hope this carries on for many years to come. Paul, Paul Richardson, Delphinus and Joseph. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Johanna. I'm from Germany and I'm here in Mwanza for doing sports charity. I trained with my friends from charity and at home in Germany normally. And it was really nice. I had a lot of fun. And there was one guy running with me and it was nice to see how uh, the energy is over all 10 kilometers. It was really fun. How many kilometers have you run? I ran 10 kilometers. <laughs> And uh, how do you feel the competition was? Uh, I thought it was really nice. Um, it was hard because I was not used to the height and the air, but it was fun and I think it was a good mood. How do you see the climate condition? Did you feel like uh, for me, it's harder than Germany, of course, um, but it was okay. I was 
It was good that the sun was not shining today. Yeah.